James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Ladies and gentlemen, we just had the biggest solar flare we've seen in over 72 hours. It's an M-class solar flare. We're looking at an M1.81, being the largest in over 72 hours. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that was actually generated by our old friend 4246 which is just about around the bend. So that was probably a much larger flare, partially eclipsed by, or mostly eclipsed by our limb there. It doesn't look like it'll affect Earth in any way, nor did any of the other CMEs that came through, I guess. This peaked just after 20 UTC time, 2030 UTC time, so about 3.30 Central here in the U.S., so it has just occurred, 4246 used to be a Delta class sunspot, the most complex sunspot known to man. Now it's a simple sunspot once again. Looks like the peak was at 315 or 2015 UTC time. We only have a 5% chance of seeing an X class solar flare today. The sun is very calm. 25% of seeing an M class solar flare, which we did in fact get. That ship did sail, and we're running a C3.07 now, and I believe we're running a C baseline as well. A 95% chance of having a C flare. We had plenty of those. And it looks like we also had an M1 earlier in the day at 1.56 UTC time, which would be 10 o'clock, right before 10 p.m. last night. But again, that was also partially eclipsed by the limb and from our old friend AR4246. All right, so plenty of sunspots earth facing, but all of them are simple. There's 4246 right there. And everything else is really, really calmed down. Everything is simple. There's no beta gamma, there's no delta sunspots. Although anything could change very quickly, as we well know. Looks like there is a total of nine sunspot groups, Earth-facing. And I guess two of those are about to go around the limb there. But we have new ones inbound. And we'll watch that M-flare pop off right up here. You can see that it looks like it might have hurled a chrome mass ejection into space. Fairly long-term M flare there, almost a double M flare there. But that's where it occurred, 4246, and you can see that that's probably a larger flare that was eclipsed by uh, the limb of our sun here. Here is the peak. These are the x-rays that hit our planet right over Hawaii, over the Pacific. So we did pick it up on our GOES satellite circling Earth, and we, in fact, did get hit with x-rays. There's a chance that it could be geo-effective because of our geomagnetic connection to that far limb, but I wouldn't expect anything out of this. I wanted to let y'all know, since it was the largest flare in over 72 hours. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro World.